Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the fifth episode of Grand Belm. And last episode, we have Kuon, a girl that's kind of coming anywhere in the inner circle, you know, bit of an ally, at least for the sake of dealing with Nene, our bombardment girl. And Nene doing a lot of like reconnaissance and stuff, being all sneaky sneaky with her special magic hiding talisman thing, and then at the end of the episode, just proudly declaring who she is in front of everyone. I still don't quite get the, the, what the reasoning, but the logic behind that. But that was that was the thing that happened. We also had a little bit of a flashback back when Nana and her sisters were all roughly the same size, and they were drawing chalk on the ground. And Mother told them about monsters that would get them if they use the magic technique and devour their soul. You know, usual kind of thing. So yeah, that's that's interesting. Nana family stuff. We got that episode for sure. So. Yeah, we'll just see what we do with this episode, so let's get on into it. Three, two, one, play. Nihongo, okay. You know, when they said Mangetsu, I really thought they were talking about the character for a second. <laughs> wow, that's it's that's quite the quite a legacy. <laughs> Really not that intimidating in a just saying. Although if you stare at me like that. Misty. So yeah, we are in the battlefield. Well, no kidding. But yeah, we're all we're all together. We got we got a strategy, right? Gonna take down Nene. 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 Did you repeat it once for my sake? I guess I'll just have to see it. Oh no, maybe we'll get it. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Yeah, you will be very useful. I 
Yeah, she is still a factor, even if we're not focusing on her. Man, these names, though. They are difficult. Oh, so it's not Aurora Borealis? Uh, uh geez, that, this again. <laughs> Just don't get blown up. I mean, things are everywhere. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. I do quite like this battlefield. I almost expect dinosaurs to walk around. Is that going to make this harder? Can we, can we, how easy is it to pinpoint the real one? I know she's doing her best. Did you get it? And there's not enough. The happiest she's ever looked in the whole show. <laughs> Like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Don't need to tell me that. Oh. Oh, well, that went right for her. <laughs> so, yeah, looks like you may have been spotted. I'll never get used to the nah 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 thing. It's amusing every time I hear it. Okay. That's what I want to hear. And go. Recently learned that Japanese word. My studies. Simply using her eyes, that's, that's crazy. They did. I can confirm that. And then Nana's definitely not giving up. Well, she's managing. Man, how many beams can she shoot in one fight, I wonder? Hey, I never said she wasn't competent. But she, you know... She's a bit outnumbered. The red pill or the blue pill? They look exactly the same. I, 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 I couldn't tell. Well, that one's floating, so does that give it away? <laughs> I 
<sighs> and let's get that image visioned. I really do love the magic circles in this show. And just magic in general, really. Come on. Those interesting looking pupils. Yeah, I think we're closing on her. <laughs> Just cut through all the debris. Starting to sweat, aren't you, Nana? I mean, I am too, but different reasons. Yeah, I think you've lost. Unless somebody interrupts, you know, like on a. Yeah, but she did kind of move a bit, didn't she? I don't know how far she moved, though. I don't think it was that far. Wait, what are you apologizing for? Being indisposed? Uh, her. Whew. Bringing that up. As you're this busybody. Uh. Oh no, that's Anna's power. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before she popped up. Popped up. It would look cool, and it does look cool. But uh, uh, okay, things are not looking great for us right now. They're definitely going downhill. It was looking pretty good for a minute there. But, you know, Anna's factions kind of ruining everything, as they do. Okay. So what, she's like straight up invisible? I see something. I thought she did move from the spot, though. I might just be mis misremembering, missing something. Because it seems like she just was invisible the whole time. And there we go. Although she does have a barrier up still. But at least we know she's there. Yeah. <laughs> like, shut up, Onechans. So now, what do you do, Nana? Self destruct. <laughs> Oh wow, she's doing something. Uh, what is she doing? Because uh, it looks like we're going full, like, mecha sword transformation kind of thing. Uh. 
Uh, what what do we do now? This wasn't in the, this wasn't in the manual in our battle plans. Yeah, because this is a very different fighting style than we've seen from her so far. Like, complete shift into melee mode, I guess. Meanwhile, yeah, Ana still... <laughs> Looked like it might have been lagging a little bit there with the fire, but... Everything still seems to be synced up. Reaction-wise, so it should be fine. <laughs> Never underestimate your opponents. <laughs> uh, I told you takes a chill pill. Or 12. So, how are things going over here? Because we have like a three front battle right now. Just the way she sits and just the outfit she wears, just, it looks so good, doesn't it? I know she's a bad guy, but... Well, then I guess we shouldn't kill you. <laughs> Come on, isn't you the mech, the one with the fans? Can't you use that? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, because this is not going well. Like, worse than the other two fronts. Okay. Hopefully she's not running out of steam. Oh, the Nana seems pretty winded too. Okay, she definitely hasn't given up yet. I keep expecting her to, which is why I keep bringing that up. But... <laughs> uh, she just do a... <laughs> She's like, did it like a kick within her cockpit. I don't know, because it almost looks like she's fighting, which makes sense because she's like controlling it, but it just, it looks interesting. Especially that outfit she's wearing. Looks like she's going to bed, you know? Uh, you know, this front doesn't seem to be going well either. When did she get blue tentacles, by the way? When was that a thing? Anybody want to help? Maybe she can get to. Or, or maybe she's got this. Definitely in a hurry, though. Just break through a barrier and finish her off, if you can. Oh, damn. That's got a sting. Jeez. Don't blow up the whole battlefield. I really do feel like I did that underestimate Nana a bit. I still think she's going to lose in the end. You know, in my, in my defense, Nana keep running into poles, it's pretty easy to underestimate her.
Where are we now? There's, there's a desk there. Like, like a classroom desk. Are the gears starting to turn in the head? Oh god. Uh, is she going berserk? Like berserker mode? There's so many visuals and shiny lights, it's kinda hard to tell what's happening. But she seemed to have broken through it. Uh, Nana, you might want to watch out now. Oh my god. Yeah, I think something definitely unlocked in her. And the full moon in the background, very fitting. Uh, just calm down a little bit. Those eyes don't seem healthy. Uh. We're in cinematic mode. Uh... Ouch. Yeah, you... you did a lot. Fingers look really painful, too. So what exactly is the situation with Nene's mom? I... I feel like they're giving us a bunch of little puzzle pieces on that. I'm still not quite sure. I definitely feel bad for Nana regardless. You know, she really was doing her best this episode. <laughs> really made me want to root for her, you know, and... But she's like... and She's against our protagonist, so I, I couldn't really... It kind of put me in an awkward position. Okay, that that was the fifth episode of Grand Belm. And this episode, yeah, definitely a bit more of an action-focused episode. This was the episode where our little alliance was supposed to, you know, do their best to take down Nene, but of course there are other people in this fight. Anna and Suisho, I think her name was. Uh, yeah, Suisho. Akamata. Yeah, so she's in this fight too. And uh, yeah, they both complicated things greatly because having our little teamwork against one opponent doesn't quite work too well when you've got a couple of people attacking, especially when one of them is as angry as she always is. So that made things a bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, Nana just even without that, Nana is pretty. It's pretty good, honestly. Like 
Which they talked about, you know, how she was her mech is more long range focused and stuff like that, and how it's kind of exploitable, you know, you know, just get up close and all that. But it seemed to like have a different form, you know, like a kind of a tentacle arm, kind of alternate, more close combat focused form. So that's certainly helpful for her. And the episode definitely was like, you know, Nene focused. We've gotten little bits of the Nene family stuff, but not quite to the extent we got in this episode. And the mom stuff, I'm still not quite sure what the deal with that was. The end almost kind of made it seem like the mother left the the mage family thing entirely and lost her memories associated with it, maybe. That's the only way I can really take that. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure what the... And even if that's true, it still doesn't quite connect all the dots, but just either way... She lost her mother in a sense, regardless. That much is for sure. So seeing Nena so upset about that, that that hurts. That hurts more than a little bit. And Nena just really kind of feels like a sort of underdog that you root for. You know, she's just doing her best, you know, not giving up, even though I kept expecting her to, especially when, like, moments when Mon gets to kind of close the distance and stuff like that because of the whole long-range specialty that she has. You know, if you're a sniper and the guy gets up close to you with a sword, you, you, you're you not in a good position. So I kept kind of expecting it to end, and then it, like, never did. She just kept fighting, you know, doing her best. And it really made me want to fight, want her to fight and encourage her and root for her and tell her she can do it. And it, But, you know, her doing well, it doesn't really help our main girls doing well. So it, there was a bit of a contradiction there that I had to kind of wrestle with. Some cognitive dissonance, maybe you'd call it. I don't know. But it, it just, it was it was something for sure. And then on the Kuo side, we have Shui, Shui, Shui Show talking about the sister and the curse and all that, kind of messing with her head and fighting her. And that wasn't going too well. And, you know, it's never, in the fighting Ana, it's never, I mean, Ana never really defeats Shingetsu really, right? But it's still a pretty big inconvenience to have to deal with her. But that was probably one of the better... Not better. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? As far as the three battlefronts go, that one was the least concerning. You know? And Mangetsu kind of went like f some kind of berserker mode thing. Like we saw gears start to turn in her head. She saw some like flashes of memories and I think her eyes kind of changed. And she just had this black red color scheme attack. And she just, yeah, kind of went into that mode and kind of turn the tides of the fight a little bit, it seems like. So not quite sure what that was about either. But that is kind of what spelled the end for Nana in the fight. I do think Nana's pretty much, yeah, lost at this point. I think that's safe to say. You know, considering the episode kind of ended with her crying and whatnot. But yeah, just the fights in the show are always just so exciting to watch, you know. We had three different battlefronts. All of them were pretty cool. Just all the magic spells and circles and blasts and just general fight choreography. There's not really much I can say about that that I haven't already said already. It just it's done really well on the show. The mechs are 2D. Somebody left a comment on that before, which is not something I really talked about, but that is pretty cool as well. Really does lead to some pretty dynamic fights, like what you can do, the cool kind of stuff you can do that as a result of that. You know, the show just just looks good in that regard, for sure. It's not sure what else I can really say about the episode. Just. Or you know, that's probably my biggest takeaway from it, I would say. But man, these fights can get pretty rough, can't they? That's for sure. Good episode, though. Definitely. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.